it comes to predator. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Oh, shit. Hey, jump up out. Here comes the predator. Hey, folks, how you doing? My name's Tim Black, and welcome to Duh News. Hey, how you doing? It's me, Tim Black. You're tuned into the news. Oh, man. It's been a wild ride this week. I've been busy, 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 busy. But check this out. I am back, and it is Friday. Friday. Loving the Friday, baby. Check this out, man. I got a story for you to start your Friday off pretty good. It's about this kid, seventh grader. What is he, 13, 12, some shit? Young little guy, you know? He lives in Beaumont, Texas. In his school, he has this teacher, of course. He has a number of teachers. But the one particular teacher I want to talk about, for some reason, they're not releasing that teacher's name. Now, I'm pissed about that because I'd love to know who this teacher is. Because this is what the teacher did. The teacher got pissed off because little Reginald said something about his favorite football team. Now, we know how people feel about their football teams, right? We get pissed. We don't like that shit. You know, like, my Redskins been losing like hell. You know, I had high hopes for them. But if you said something about the Redskins, I wouldn't want to do what this teacher did. See, what this teacher did was punch this little kid in the mouth and then hit him with a strong right that knocked his ass unconscious. That's right. The teacher put the child to sleep. Now, back when I was in school, teachers used to do dumb shit, say dumb shit, you know, raise their hand, act like they're going to do something to you. But that shit's been outlawed, man. You can't be going around hitting kids. But he didn't hit this kid because this kid was speaking out in class. He hit this kid in between classes, in the hallway, because he said some shit about his football team. So, so when the child woke up, <laughs> later on, he asked the teacher, like, you know, teacher tried to explain it, just say, look, I was having a bad day, and I snapped. And that was it. That was it. I snapped. You said some shit. I wasn't ready. Pop, pop. Two piece. Good night. Is this the type of teachers we have, America? That they're walking around hitting, hitting students with two pieces and putting them to sleep in the hallways? All because they said some shit about, I don't know, the Ravens? Or said some shit about, I don't know, the Cowboys? Probably was the Cowboys. This was in Texas. I guess it could have been the Texans. I don't know, man. It's fucked up. Fucked up, fucked up. Now look, the mother is pissed off. That's right. Reginald's mom is pissed off because they didn't do anything to this teacher except fire him. They fired him when they really should have notified the police and had his ass locked up. That's assault. So now the mom's pissed off. She's thinking about suing the school, and I think she has a, a right to do that because the school didn't act in her best interest. You know, somebody two-pieces my 12-year-old for some dumb shit. If, well, if you two-piece him at all and you're an adult, I got a problem. But if you two-piece my child, just because he said some shit about your shitty-ass football team, your ass needs to go to jail. That's how I feel about it. Man, we take this fan shit too far. People do it on the internet, too. They take shit too far. You know? They support a guy, so they go to, you know, they go to combat just because you say something that they don't like. Well, shit, man. It's free speech. You can't be just going up, up against people's heads because you don't like what they say about your fucking football team or about your favorite YouTuber. So calm your ass down, you monkey head motherfucker. Who made, who died and made you the keeper of the veil? Who died and made you the keeper, the keeper of the fucking ring? The precious, the precious. Fuck is this, man? The fuck out of here and grow up. You ain't getting paid by that fucking football team, you degenerate. You bad decision making motherfucker. Now you unemployed. Now you have no job. Yeah, you think your football team's going to send you tickets? Because you knocked the kid out because he said some shit? Nah, man, that's not how it works, man. Nobody gives a fuck about you, and no one cares that you support them to that extent. <sighs> that's another sad example of what happens when fans go crazy. And they go crazy a lot. Anyway, Reginald Speedy Recovery, hope your lip still works. You can still suck lollipops and, you know, eat junk food and shit. And mama, get that money if you can. You got to teach these schools a lesson. Stop hiring teachers who have bad choices in football teams. And uh, by the way, go Redskins. And if y'all say something about my motherfucking Redskins, I'll punch you in the motherfucking mouth. See you next time. When you th it's Friday, baby. Friday, Friday, baby. What you say about my Redskins, motherfucker?